Can you hear you? Yeah, thanks, thanks. Um, so anyways, let's try this again. Hi, I'm here now. Um, so we're gonna be, basically I was getting to you guys, I was trying to give you guys a preview of what is going on this week. So what's going on this week is um, we are gonna be doing, um, we're gonna be starting to talk about photography. So on, on Wednesday, I'm gonna have Eric um, talk about like what the expectations are for photography. Um, yes, Daniel, if again, you can see that up in the top left, it's, yeah, that is right there. So, um, anyways, um, we are going to be um, working on our photography this week. So we'll talk about what the expectations are. Um, I did get a lot of your guys' copy um, already. So that's great. I got about, I think 20, um, 20 first drafts of copy. Um, I pretty much gave everybody full credit for turning in your rough draft. Um, me giving you full credit does not mean that your copy is approved. However, it just means that you turned in a rough draft. So you may need to make sure that you have emailed your copy in addition to submitting it to Canvas to Alexis because um, the most amount of points are gonna come from your final approved draft. And if you don't have an approved draft from Alexis, then you're not gonna get credit for it. This was just kind of like the first step in making sure that you had your copy done though. So make sure that you guys are um, staying current because every assignment that we're doing is basically making sure that we're staying on track for completing our first pages. And our pages are gonna be due by November 1st. So that really only gives us about like three and a half weeks to finish our uh, first page. So you should have your copy done. You should have your interview questions uh, created. You should have your page pretty much designed. You should have a header. You should have a subheader. So you should have a lot of components already done as long as you've been doing the assignments. So just make sure that you guys are staying on track of that. And like I said, this week, I'm gonna have Eric um, go over like what the expectations are for photography, what will, what will not be accepted. Um, so just make sure that you guys are ready on Wednesday to start doing that. So you guys, if you sent me names, we need to start reaching out to some of these people now. So that way we can start interviewing them, getting photos from them. Um, that way next week we'll be working on captions for the photos that we collect this week. So we just need to make sure that we're able to get as much photos as possible this week. So that way, hopefully, we can start getting pictures once they're approved on our pages. Any questions about that before I move on? And Jayla, I see that you're gonna send me um, more people. So I will get that to you as soon as you send that to me. Um, just a reminder, when you're looking at that list, um, try to avoid the people who were in the book zero times and go to the people who were in the book one times. A lot of times the people who are in the book zero times don't go to Sanger Unified anymore. So um, just skip that and go straight to the one, one person in the book. So that way we know that they were at least in it once last year and hopefully we can get them in a second time this year. Um, also, just FYI, it is official next Monday is gonna be the freshman picture day. Um, only for the Bethel campus. So if you were a freshman who goes to technically the West campus, um, which I don't think anybody does in here. I don't think that you can take my class if you're a West campus student, but maybe I'm wrong. But so next Monday is gonna be for all the Bethel freshman students um, on, in the gym. And basically it's gonna be divided by A through G will be nine to 11, uh, H through P will be 11 to one, and then um, Q through Z will be one to three. So they're gonna have people's names um, printed out and they'll your name as soon as you get there. Students will be excused from those classes from that time, as long as they actually come get their picture. So same sophomores. sophomores will be on the uh, 19th, juniors will be on the 26th, and then makeup day will be on the November 2nd. So if you come get your picture that day, you will be excused. If you don't go to your class and you don't come get your picture, you will not be excused. So you gotta make sure that you obviously actually get the picture if you're planning on being excused for that time period. Um, so that is gonna be something that's gonna be happening pretty soon. So that's good. We I have need a question. Sure, what's your question? So for sophomore, it's on the 19th then? Yeah. 
Okay. Originally, we had skipped it to the 26th, but um, Sunnyside uh, didn't, uh, they backed out of their date. So they're not, they're not doing pictures on the 19th. So we took that day. So we were able to move everything up a week, which is good because we want to get it done earlier rather than later. So at what time? Again, it depends on your last name. A through G is nine to 11. Um, uh, what was it? Sorry, A through H through P will be from 11 to one and Q through Z will be one to three. So you okay. just go to that time frame basically and you just go to the gym. You have to wear a face mask until you get your picture. Once you get your picture, obviously you'll take your face mask off, put it back on once you're done and then leave campus. Mr. Williams, I'll probably have to drive my sister to take her pictures because my mom works and my dad doesn't live with us. Um, would I end up being excused for school if I'm the one who has to take her? Just call your, have your parents call attendance. I can't technically clear you from that necessarily. It's not like how it was before where I can just call attendance and clear everybody um, for doing events or anything. So you still, you would need your mom to like call and just have you excused. Okay, thank you. I just wasn't sure how that would work. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, technically you would not be excused because um, for that, because you would be the one taking the picture. But if your mom and calls, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. We are gonna move on. And again, I do apologize for being muted and hidden from you guys earlier. I feel really stupid now, but hey, that's how it goes. So again, I always like to start off Mental Health Mondays with what I've been up to. So I've been, here's what I've been watching, reading and listening to. So watching, I've been watching Chef's Table Barbecue. I like all the Chef's Table shows. Um, I like cooking in general. And it's always fun to see people who are vastly more talented than I am do their thing. Um, I've been watching The Boys on HBO, or I'm sorry, on Amazon and The Val on HBO. Um, I've been reading um, this Chinese science fiction series. Um, actually, technically I've been listening to the audiobook version of it, but it's really good. I have about an hour left and it was like 22 hours or something. And I looked it up because I didn't know how long that was. That's like 400 pages, but it's a really interesting book and they're actually making a Netflix show out of it eventually too. Um, so I wanted to read it before it came out. And then I've been listening to Streetlight Manifesto and specifically the album called Everything Goes Numb. And that's like a ska punk. And if you don't know what ska is, it's like a upbeat reggae kind of sound. Um, what else? Okay, so this is technically from my World Lit class. So don't worry about the podcast or the brief right thing. That's just from them. But I did want to tell you guys that for Flipgrid, you guys have different options now. So for Mental Health Monday, you could either do the Flipgrid or there are other options. So I'll show what those options are right now. Sorry, hold on a second. But I did want to tell you guys that, let me get to the right page and that'll help. Okay. So on Mental Health Monday, I did it a little differently. Before I had been doing Flipgrid through um, Canvas. Now you do need to enter the join code. So you click join with Google, enter in Echo 1101. And again, Echo is the name of our publication. Same five questions. Again, how are you doing? What are your feelings from the last week versus what's your feeling today? Uh, what questions do you have about the class? What questions do you have for me in general? And what else do you feel like you need to tell me, okay? If you don't want to do that, maybe you're burnt out on doing the flip grids. Maybe you don't want to do that. Um, you could draw a picture that, and again, something that uh, hopefully like is capturing your feelings. And the reason why I'm having you guys do this again, is just because obviously these are difficult times. They're very stressful on everyone. And I'm just trying to give you guys an outlet to um, express yourselves. So you can either draw a picture, write a story, record yourself telling a story or just create something in general. It doesn't have to be one of those first three options and then just take a picture of it. So whatever you wanna do, just trying to let you guys have a little creative freedom here and be able to express yourself. So that is pretty much all I got for you. So what questions do you guys have for me so far?
Okay, so I know we went a little over in part, and that was my fault because, again, I was, you know, talking to no one apparently. So, and thank you for those of you who actually said something <laughs> so that I didn't continue going on further. Um, I also missed a 